Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Fahima and I'm back with another video for you guys today. So if you are new, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to share my experience taking the Kaplan Nursing Entrance Exam. So I am applying for an ADN program and the school that I'm applying to requires you to take the Kaplan entrance exam prior to applying. So um, for my school, you need at least a 3.0 GPA and the prerequisites. And I believe for the Kaplan exam, you need over 70 percentile on the entrance exam. So regarding the Kaplan exam, you have 91 questions all multiple choice. You have the reading section, which is 22 questions, I believe. You know what, let me just check my book so I'm not giving you guys incorrect information. Okay, so the reading comprehension, you have 22 multiple choice questions. The writing question, you have 21 multiple choice questions. Math, you have 28 multiple choice questions and science is only 20 questions. So for each section you have 45 minutes except for the science. They only give you 30 minutes for that portion. Um, to be honest... Truly, honestly. I feel like because you know, the schools require you to get the study guide before you take the exam. So you have an idea of how the questions are on the test, how the reading portion is, the writing portion, just a brush up. Because you know, some people haven't been in school for years and now it's time for them to take a test. You know, they suggest that the study guide is helpful and that you should get it. But to be honest, this book right here was not helpful at all. Like, I remember prior to taking the exam the first time, I passed, but it was a low passing grade, so it wasn't high enough for me to get in. And the second time around, I didn't bother to, to use this book, because I'm just like, most of the stuff that they put in this book is not on the exam. Like, the science portion, you have physics, chemistry. I'm just like, and when you take the Kaplan exam, it's only anatomy questions based off of you taking anatomy one and anatomy two. So I wouldn't suggest going through the science section in this book. Um, the math section, way too in depth. When you take the exam, they're only asking you questions. Uh, I mean, they're only asking you questions on basic questions. I mean, they're only asking you basic questions on adding, subtracting, decimal, percentage and dosage calculation questions. So the, the Kaplan goes way too in depth as far as like algebra, trigonometry, I don't know about geometry, but once I seen all of that, I was like, yeah, I'm not going through all that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, the only thing that was really helpful in the book was the reading and the writing section. The reading section, They'll ask you questions like, what's the author's purpose of this passage? Or what's, or what type of passage this is? Example, expository, technical, persuasive, questions like that. Like you have to read the passage and based off of the tone that the author is going with, you need to decide what type of passage it is. And they'll ask you questions like, what's the main idea of this paragraph? Or what is the author's purpose of this paragraph? What is the main conclusion from this paragraph? So questions like that, they'll ask you. Um, as far as the science section, examples of questions, they're definitely gonna ask you, what's the flow of the heart? Um, they also ask you like, questions regarding like the endocrine system, cardiovascular, um, what else? skeletal system, just know all the systems. And regarding the writing section, they'll ask you questions like, 
what needs to be deleted out of this sentence or what's the difference between there, they are, and there, or two, two, and two, you know, questions like that. And I know for sure, like they ask a question about like, what word goes best with this sentence? And it'll be two words that are pronounced the same, but have different meanings. So effect and effect, like you gotta know the different meanings to know which word goes with that sentence. So, um, as far as like study tips, I would suggest YouTube videos and Quizlet. Quizlet is your best friend regarding taking this exam. Prior to taking this exam, Quizlet will help you a lot. YouTube videos as well will help you regarding um, basic algebra, I know a YouTuber named Brandon Crab. he's helped me with a lot of basic questions like that they'll ask like on the T's or Kaplan exam, like you can still apply those skills by watching his videos. I found that it was really helpful. So I just wanted to share this video with anybody that is thinking of applying for nursing school or getting ready to take an entrance exam or still in a prerequisite phase and just need an idea as to like what to expect or what to study. I wish you guys the best of luck. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I will gladly get back to you. That pretty much sums up my video. So stay tuned for the next video.